We're in a war. The other side knows they're at war because they started it. They're coming for our freedom, for our money, for our kids, for our property. They're coming for everything because they're a bunch of socials. We have a lot of domestic enemies of the Constitution, and they're right down the mall in the Con Congress of the United States. And right down Independence Avenue in the White House, the unit that belongs to us. Nazi, fascist, Nazi, Nazi, fascist, Nazi. He doesn't understand that anarchy is the opposite of totalitarianism. He thinks fascism is, he doesn't understand fascism is left wing, totalitarian government. Who are you with? If you're not with Agor, why won't you tell us your name? Because he threatened our journalists. How did I threaten your you journalists? Told her, oh, you did, you're if you did, yeah. Oh, you I'm told her if you didn't like her story, oh, you would come and find her. Oh, if I didn't like her that's story, that's a what threat. Did I say? You would find why her. Why don't you play it back? What did I say, Mr. Cameraman? Oh. Why don't you use facts? Why don't you use facts? <laughs> Do you not like facts? It. Is that the problem? What, what would you say to the rest Welcome of the world? Welcome to facts. The rest of the world, I'd like to say, America is the greatest country on earth. Today, I've spent the day with two million of the greatest Americans. This fucking Muslim in charge needs to be cut the fuck Listen, down. Listen, my fellow Americans. Hang the line, Kenyan traitor terrorist piece of shit. He's a traitor. Hang him. Hang the line, Kenyan traitor. Well, you, you know what? You know what the punishment for? You know what the punishment for high treason is? Yep. So it is. to the founding fathers of the Constitution, death, death by upon, hanging, upon apprehension. And not ready by here. <laughs> yeah, but you don't snap his neck. You pull him up, and watch him choke to death. You slowly lower him down to where his feet are almost touching the ground. <laughs> Get in your face! Get in your face! I just wanted to shake hands. Do you want to live? Hey, do you go back to your, go back to your candy cane, your candy cloud, unicorn. What's a candy cane? Go by your world, where you have no life. Where you have no life experience. That's what that is. You need to cool it, dude. Where's your candy cane? Cut it out, man. It's not worth it. It's not. Hey. They said no, you guys camp. stay over there, You're we stay over right here. Hey, he's borderline. Yeah. We don't want to shake hands with people that are selling America out. Don't you get it? I love, we love our country. I love everybody. So do we, but I don't want to hey, shake your hands. Right. No, you guys are dangerous. Hey, don't take my picture. Is that what America is? Don't take my picture. You can only shake hands with people you agree with? Hey, go back to your group by world. Correct? Go back to your group by world. I'm supporting my constitutional right to speak, and I I wanted to come shake hands. The leader said, let's shake Nobody hands. Hey, I don't want you to shake my hand. Right. I just don't want to shake your hand, dude, okay? Okay, that's hey. it. They asked us to come shake hands as a show of solidarity. Well, they asked that's you to what I wanted to do. No. Is Muhammad going to do that, too? I love Muhammad. You, you love Jesus. I love the Quran. I love the Bible. You don't know I love all the good teachings. You guys believe in unicorns, kumbaya, candy cotton clouds. What would you like to You people are ignorant. What would you like to do? Oh. Hey, look, wait, wait, wait. hey, look, guys, Ahab the Polak, why don't you go back to Poland if you don't like it here? Oh, you're all bigots, you're all bigots. Talking loud and saying nothing. The media's been waiting for a bloodbath this whole time we've been here. Now there's going to be one and they're running. They're told to run because the feds don't want to know who's murdering us. American people better wake up, get here, and fight for your country. Right now, it is on. What you gonna do, what you gonna do when the, when the militia comes after you, FBI? He belongs in prison. He's a crook. And I have every right to stand here and speak my mind. The First Amendment is being trashed. Right in front of your eyes and your vote for Hillary. People are nuts. Do you have your own server? People are freaking nuts. Do you have your own server? I don't know what the hell you serve. 
No. Do you have your own server? What the, what the hell's the server, dumb nuts? Yeah, he's an idiot who made fuck the American dream for himself. Yeah, he's a real idiot. Get real, man. You think you can't even have a freaking conversation about anything? Talk about the facts. Look at the facts, you idiots. Who's your favorite Seahawk? I got a bunch of them. <laughs> George Soros is going to hell. George Soros is a money grubbing bitch. George Soros sucks. He's into like creepy, weird, sick stuff, man. Just disgusting with flies all over. Big, fat, stinking dick. Imagine how bad she smells, man. I'm told her and Obama just stink, 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 stink. You can't wash that evil off, man. I'm told there's a rotten smell around Hillary. I'm not kidding. People say, they say, the, uh, it, folks, I've been told this by high up folks. They say, listen, Obama and Hillary both smell like sulfur. I never said this because the media go crazy with it, but I've, I've talked to people that are in protective details. I mean, they're scared of her. And they say, listen, she's a freaking demon and she stinks and so does Obama. And I go, like what? Sulfur. They <gasps> God, these people are so evil. Why can't America wake up and beat them? Donald Trump's not perfect, but he doesn't want to hurt you and your family. Hillary and Obama want to make you poor and pathetic. We have all their white papers. They hate you. They hate prosperity. They hate God. They hate children. And goddamn them to hell. I, I, we're going to find the lever to beat these people, and they're, they're going to be beaten. Excuse me. I just get so emotional. Look at her shark face. Have to look at her with that demon face. That's a freaking demon. We're going to have President Linda Blair, people, and I'm not going to go along with it. I haven't heard about that. I think that would be a shame, but I haven't heard about that. I, I will say the people that are following are very passionate. They love this country. They want this country to be great again, and they are very passionate. Two men just off the train accused of attacking a homeless man who was sleeping Wednesday morning. Witnesses told police he was beaten with a pole. The suspects, brothers Scott and Steve Leader of South Boston, faced numerous charges, including a hate crime. One accused of urinating on the man. Reportedly, they told police Donald Trump was right. All these illegals need to be deported. I don't believe that you've done anything to create a tone where this kind of violence would be encouraged. I hope not. I truly hope not. I will say this. Uh, we have 25, 30,000 people. You've seen it yourself. People come with tremendous passion and love for the country. And when they see protest, in some cases, you know, you're mentioning one case, which I haven't seen. I heard about it, which I don't like. But when they see what's going on in this country, they have anger that's unbelievable. They have anger. Get the fuck out of here! Of this country. They don't like seeing bad trade deals. They don't like seeing higher taxes. They don't like seeing a loss of their jobs where our jobs have just been devastated. And I know, I mean, I see it. There is some anger. There's also great love for the country. It's a beautiful thing in many respects, but I certainly do not condone that at all, Jim. Don't fucking make my tortilla, motherfucker, and build that fucking wall for me! You, you're kind. You're the ones that give the brown people bad names. Okay, yes, Ivan. Just fucking want to get something for nothing. But get your ass a job if you don't have one. Yeah, you think that it's going to Speak English, bitch. It's America. Put that on. Put me on YouTube. Go for it. <laughs> Down with Mexicans that don't learn the language of the world. So everybody will get educated how much you really are.
Saturday, police say a man was beaten outside a quick shop at 21st and Oliver. The Council on American Islamic Relations claims two people were attacked by a man shouting Trump, 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 as well as a Trump campaign slogan. The victims were not seriously hurt. There's no word of any arrest. The security guys, we have wonderful security guys. They said, Mr. Trump, there may be somebody with tomatoes in the audience. So if you see somebody getting ready to throw a tomato, knock the crap out of them, would you? Seriously. I'm in a lie. Oh! Chill, chill, chill. You ain't got to grab him like that. You ain't got to grab him like that. I will pay for the legal fees, I promise. Bye-bye. Do you know what they used to do to guys like that when they were in a place like this? They'd be carried out on a stretcher, folks. He's walking out like big high fives, smiling, laughing. I'd like to punch him in the face, I'll tell you. hands on a civil complaint uh, regarding this incident of the video you're seeing now and we, we have to remind you this is of course a, a one-sided complaint this is against Matthew Heimbeck the man that you're looking at there now the man who's a chairman of the tree uh, the traditional worker party but he is described by the Southern Poverty Law Center as quote the face of a new generation of white nationalists Heimbeck is affiliated with the traditional worker party or recognized hate group self-proclaimed political party which is ideologically opposed to among other things uh, ethni different ethnicities living together in the same community, intermarrying. Heimbeck himself has been quoted as saying, according to this civil complaint, it's separa uh, separation or mongrelization. We're going to rebellion. We're overthrowing this country. We're getting rid of this clown act. It's over. Clinton, the Marxists, it's over. Are you worried about these latest polls? He's slipping a bit. No, I don't care because we are going to take this country back no matter what. She's going to prison even if they pull off the fake campaign with all the voter fraud and she what? wins with voter fraud. We have, Let me finish. We have no evidence of voter end. fraud, it's sir. What will you do? Just very, just quickly, sir. There's no evidence Let of me it. ask there you is. a quick question, this sir. Is a, rig a very quick question. System. What will you do if Donald Trump does not win? We're going to rebellion. We're overthrowing this country. We're getting rid of this clown act. It's over. Clinton, the Marxists, it's over. Come on. Okay, this man, I like this guy. I walk on white plains. Amen. Okay. We have a problem in this country. It's called Muslims. We know our current president is one. Right. You know he's not even an American. We need this first question. This is man. The first question. But anyway, we have training camps growing where they want to kill us. Mm -hmm. That's my question. When can we get rid of We're going to be looking at a lot of different things. And, you know, a lot of people are saying that, and a lot of people are saying that bad things are happening out there. We're going to be looking at that and plenty of other things. You will not replace us! 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 Blood and soil! 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 Blood and soil!
And you had some very bad people in that group. But you also had people that were very fine people on both sides. You had people in that group. Excuse me. Excuse me. I saw the same pictures as you did. You had people in that group that were there to protest the taking down of, to them, a very, very important statue and the renaming of a park from Robert E. Lee to another name.